A massive buy signal is actually about to print on ADA within the next couple of days and it's an absolutely great sign to show that we could have a lot of upward potential coming in the near future here. So in today's video we are going to be talking about all of the things that have been happening, what we can expect going forward, and how much we are just smashing it. I mean ADA is absolutely killing it. I'm so excited to see the progress that we're making. So with that being said, of course, if you are excited about today's video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go ahead and let's jump straight into the computer here. So what we can see from ADA is that, I mean, it's been an absolutely amazing day. It's been an absolutely amazing day. I mean, the growth that we've been seeing since my, our buying entry, our bios right here, of course, we are up about roughly 68% on that play, on that trade. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. If I jump over to Patreon here, you can see here that on July 19th, I said I just purchased 1,855 ADA at $1.05. So it's about a $2,000 purchase. Anytime ADA goes under $1.05, I purchase. Very simple. I, it was These are my buying opportunities. I bought here, I bought here, and I bought here. I missed this one because I was on vacation, but I will always buy in this area. Area. And so from there on that $2,000 purchase, I mean, we're probably up somewhere, I would say probably about 16, 1700. And I mean, it's just been an absolutely phenomenal ride, right? So if you would like access to all the trades and everything I do purchase and all that good stuff, go down in the description, go check out the Patreon, let me know what you think. But let's go ahead, let's run through it. And let's see what all we've been seeing in the market as it's been phenomenal. And then let's talk about this amazing buy signal that is about to print in the next couple of days here. So Bitcoin dominance, of course, has been making an absolutely amazing turnaround as we did call. Remember, if you do remember, if you do watch the channel a good bit, you do know that even when we were in here i said even if we push up out of here we're going to run into resistance on the bitcoin dominance at 51 to 49 percent i just had a gut feeling that it would considering that's around half and you have either a little bit over half a little bit under half one percent and depends on what how much it controls the dominance itself I said i didn't think it was going to be able to push up over that as altcoins still have too much excitement we lost that fell back into the apex of the symmetrical triangle lost it retested as resistance continued downward momentum as we did expect this is a continuation pattern right that's a continuation pattern there total market cap too we actually did push over 1 trillion total market cap of every single crypto other than bitcoin which is absolutely phenomenal we love to see that and we love to just see that altcoins are performing so well and people are starting to get their confidence and their faith back in our altcoins because of course that's what we've invested the most in on this channel ethereum bitcoin pair is something we cover every single day considering the fact that ethereum is the most important altcoin we like to see how it's um you know just performing in comparison to bitcoin because of course if it's performing good in comparison to bitcoin then we can expect slash anticipate that the majority of our altcoins especially our major altcoins will be doing the same we did see that this um this bit of this bullish flag did form here there was a bit of consolidation within this but i had no doubt in my mind that that was just a continuation pattern and that we would see ethereum bitcoin continue upward now for ada i actually do want to jump into a clip from yesterday's video just to show you guys how crazy this movement has been let's jump down to the one hour so this is from yesterday's video this is only about less than 24 hours ago okay next thing i want to see well personally speaking that if we can set that support and yes i do like my own videos by the way Support here. If we can find support on a dollar fifty, the next range that I'm looking out for is going to actually be a dollar eighty to a dollar and ninety cents. This is going. So basically, what I was saying is that if we were able to find some support on the dollar fifty after we had broke through it and established it as support, that I knew I had no doubt in my mind that we would be able to make a push all the way to a dollar eighty. Now I know that's a big move. You know, a lot of people were saying like, Tyler, you're anticipating a, a 16 17 percent rise. I mean, yes, like. Once we clear 50, there's almost every single time we clear 50, we go to that dollar eighty, dollar ninety region. Literally every single time. I had no doubt about it, and I've been watching Ada for a good bit, and you can just kind of tell that that's the pattern it likes to follow, right? So as we can see here, I actually made that video as we were on this green candle here, as things were slowing down. From there, over the next few hours, it started to fall. People were starting to get a little bit funny in the comments, like, "Oh, look, Tyler is falling now." But you can see here, it falls back to a dollar fifty, establishes support on the twenty EMA, then continues its up rise and goes all the way up. And you can see here that it actually did just touch. A dollar and eighty didn't go into it, but it touched it, and that goes to show like we we pretty much called that one right on point just in the span of the last twenty four hours, which is phenomenal. That's been a great buy. I'm still very excited about that. I didn't buy any of it there, of course, of course, considering I did uh, make a purchase right here. But it was just a great thing to see that actually playing out as we did expect it to. Now it does look like we may be seeing a bit of a slowdown, a bit of a pullback, even a possible pullback back down to our twenty EMA. I would not necessarily be surprised. But what I do want to talk about today is what we are seeing. On the dailies, let's talk, look at the 20-day EMA. Let's take a look at the 50-day um, the EMA, 100-day EMA, and the 200-day EMA, as this has been phenomenal, okay? So what we're seeing from ADA at the moment, we are about to see some major, major bullish crosses happen, okay? Some very, very great golden crosses that I'm excited to see, and I think it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal buying opportunity, just in my opinion, for the long run, of course. So what that's going to be, of course, if we do look at what is a golden cross, the golden cross is a chart pattern that is a bullish signal in which a relatively short-term moving average crosses above a long-term moving 
moving average. And so this works for moving averages, it works for EMAs, it works for all those great things. Well, one thing we can see here is that we actually did get that golden cross from our 20 day EMA to our 50 day EMA as well. And this chart is going to be from Coinbase. Some of these other charts, this um, this bullish cross that I'm talking about has already happened. But as we can see here, the chart that I do use personally, we can see that our 50 day EMA is actually getting very, very close to surpassing our 100 day EMA, which is just another fantastic sign. Just say, hey, there's clearly some very bullish movement going on. Now, one thing I will say about golden crosses and moving averages is that they're typically a little bit of a lag. They lag a little bit. You're, they're not one that you're probably going to predict a short term move on, but you can definitely predict some long term movements on. But since this is going on, I definitely just want to talk about what we can expect now when this has happened in the past and what a good execute, you know, a good executional game plan could be in order to maximize our profits, because I don't just want this to be my only purchase, right? I don't want that to be my only purchase. If we're going to $3 and 40 cents, as I do expect we could be, I don't want that to just be the only time I bought. I want to be able to buy on the dips. I want to be able to buy my way up, but I want to be able to make rational and justifiable decisions, right? So what we're looking at now, let's take a look at when this has happened before and what happened from there, right? Let's keep it real simple. So let's jump over to another one that kind of gives us a little bit more long of a time frame. So as you can see here, throughout this entire bull run, we did start to get a little bit extended off some of our EMAs, but you will notice a pretty repetitive pattern here, right? You'll start to notice a repetitive pattern. Now, let me explain. So the last time we saw a cross like this was actually going to be way, 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 way back, back in um, November of 2020. And I want to kind of show you all how this all ended up playing out. Okay, so we started to see all of our EMAs get very, very crushed together, right? We saw the Gaussian channel getting real tight, but then we saw the expansion. We started to see the volatility happen. We know the Bollinger Bands at this time were starting to really widen up. And from there, of course, we did see the big explosion. Okay, but then we started to see these big crossovers start to happen, right? So we saw our, you might not be able to see it, but this is the 50 day, the 50 day EMA crosses above our 200 day EMA, I mean a 100 day EMA there our 20 day ema crosses above our 50 and our 100 and then it's go time right i mean that, that's when it's go time right so it was only a small move that made this happen in comparison to right now we're seeing a movement like this before it happens but you kind of get the point here so what i'm expecting going forward is that we are for sure going to start to see this thing slow down but when i have no idea i'm not i'm not even gonna lie at this point whenever you start to see rallies like this all we can do is expect when we'll see some resistance, which we'll talk about in a second. But when will it pull all the way back? I'm not sure. Okay. Gonna keep it G-Real. But one thing we do know is that typically what will happen within these bull runs is that once we see this cross happen, it's a good sign that upward movement's coming. Like it's a good thing. It's in the past, every single time we've seen crosses of that nature, unless there was some black swan event, we would start to see some very, very exponential growth. So is this a good buying opportunity for the long term? I would honestly say that it is a great justifiable buying opportunity. Now, if there's some type of black swan event, some terrible news, something that goes crazy that just makes the absolutely entire market freak out, then sure, it may fall. But from a technical standpoint, and this is just one aspect of your research of course from a technical standpoint it def i would definitely say so so in my non-financial advisor opinion of course so but one thing we do know is that as we do start to extend off of these emas we typically tend to pull back to them okay and so my game plan here is this is when i'm buying my buys are going to be on these emas until we lose all three i'm not too concerned with the 200 day ema i'm more concerned about the 2050 and 100 i personally am going to buy on each and every one of them every time it touches it until we lose all three okay now sure could something like this happen where we go in we go up we we, we touch we touch we touch and we lose all of them sure do I think that's going to happen right now? Probably not, unless, again, some type of freak event, some black swan event does happen. So my game plan at the moment is if I'm going to start dollar cost averaging in, these are going to be small buys. Nothing crazy, not $2,000, maybe 100 bucks here, 50 bucks there. But I'm going to dollar cost average it on my position every time we touch these EMAs, because if you can see, when we're in a bull run, like I expect we are, okay, I want to see that we continue that upward momentum by establishing support on these EMAs. But you can see that in the past when we've done it, that's exactly what's happened. We touch, we touch. And some people may say, Tyler, why buy it at the 20 if you know it's going to fall to the 50? Well, I don't know it's going to fall to the 50 because look here, we go up, we touch the 20, we keep going. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to use each one of these as a justifiable buying opportunity. Remember that. That's the key word, justifiable. Not perfect, but something I can justify. So if we fall below it, I don't regret that purchase because I can justify why I did it. If you make an unjustifiable buy, like I don't know why I bought that, then the emotions start to kick in, right? So my game plan now is I'm gonna be purchasing on these EMAs. That's my dollar cost average opportunity. Every single time we've had one of these bull runs, we come down, we test these EMAs when we start to get extended off of them, but we typically will continue that upward momentum until we lose all three. Now, if we see something of this nature, 
right? Where we're going, we're going, we're touching these EMAs, and as time is going on, things start to look like they're slowing down, and then we start to lose them, and we lose maybe like a, a good few closes under our 100-day EMA. Sure, maybe I'll look to say, you know what? Let's take some profits, because that's a sign that typically we're about to start to work our way back down. We'll see a bit of a downtrend start, and then maybe that's a good opportunity to take major profits that we could be accumulating, who knows, over the next few weeks, over the next few months. You can never really tell. But you guys know, personally speaking, that I am very, very bullish on ADA. I really do think it's a fantastic, fantastic crypto that's just getting started. It's just getting started, right? We do have a lot of announcements coming out on Friday, which is so exciting. I'm so excited to see what Charles had to say. And just going forward, I do believe that there's a lot of potential here. So if you're looking to buy right now, not necessarily sure. You know, I, I would say due to the fact that we are going to see a lot of these bullish crosses, golden crosses happening very soon, I would say it's justifiable. But I definitely do think that there is a uh, potential that we do see a bit of a pullback at some point here to one of our EMAs. Could it continue upwards up to $2? Absolutely. But I would say we're at about a 50-50 at a coin flip right now. So so if you have the emotional durability to handle a pullback the moment after you purchase um, with the capability to repurchase at an EMA or something like that, sure. I mean, I would say that this is a great buying opportunity. But personally speaking, if I was not in the market, if I had not bought all the way down here, I would probably give it a second. I would let it just kind of run at the moment, see where it goes, see if we do keep um, continue to reach resistance at this level here. And then from there, if we do kind of get a pullback, even maybe down to the 50s, if our EMAs do work our way up, that's a great buying opportunity. In my opinion, it's something of course we will keep an eye on now i know some of you were talking about you know where can we expect to see some resistance levels i'm still looking to see that we clear this i'm not 100 convinced we're going to reach three dollars and 40 cents until we break this red box this red box is the most important thing to me at the moment now of course that is based off of it being the highest bounce that we have had right now but you guys do understand that this is actually going to be the accumulation of two different ranges so the first one of course is going to be our fibonacci retracement from our all-time high down to our july 20th swing low this fibonacci retracement here that the top of this box is represented by our 618 you guys do know that this zone right here is very very important for us to actually be able to clear it to see a reversal and so if we can work our way into this range of course that will be important so we of course need to clear the top of this box now the bottom of this box was made off of our fibonacci extension right here i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a bit if we go to our most recent swing high swing low event our impulse event here we can see here that it creates this fibonacci extension and i drew the bottom of this box at our 1.618 typically whenever um ada cardano's price does clear the 786 on a fibonacci retracement we can expect that it is going to reach up to its 1.618 i drew this yesterday on the video when the price was right here and, I, and it's just phenomenal to see it because now we have worked our way all the way back up and we touched exactly on that box so until we clear into that i'm not going to say 100 that i think the bull run is going to for sure continue but if we do work our way into that and then work into some of those other levels we talked about yesterday, I will definitely let you all know as I think that will be the major sign like, okay, you might want to start getting your cash ready, okay? So you guys know I never tell you to buy. I never tell you to sell. I never even really tell you what I'm going to do. But I do like to give you just the different options and the things that I'm looking for. But whenever things are looking this bullish and whenever the technicals are looking this perfect, I will confidently tell you that when I'm going to be purchasing, again, as I did say, would be on many of our EMAs here. If we do start to see some of these pullbacks, we touch our EMAs, touch our EMAs, and continue upward, use them as support until we start to lose them. And then once we start to lose them, that may be a good time to start taking some profits. So with that being said, guys, that is going to be about it for today's ADA update. If you guys do want more updates on ADA, definitely let me know in the comment section. I'm not sure if I should be doing these. Like, I could do one every day in the morning. I mean, I could do one video like this in the morning, and then I could do one video at night. I could do, um, you know, on something else. Of course, I could talk about another crypto. I could talk about Axie Infinity. Definitely let me know what you all would want in, uh, in the comment section below. I really do appreciate all the love and support, and I will see you all very soon. Peace.